I'm Dr. Michael Lacey. I work for the Atlanta School of Sleep Medicine and have been in sleep medicine and technology for over 20 years. I'd like to welcome you to the clinical approach to a patient with a sleep complaint. In this lecture, we are going to review the profile of a patient with various types of sleep complaints. We're going to summarize what the initial clinical evaluation of that patient would consist of, and then go over the physician's role in evaluating a patient complaining of a sleep problem. So what brings a patient to see a sleep specialist? Often it's because they feel bad from what they perceive as poor sleep. A spouse, bed partner, or roommate may insist that they be evaluated because of concerns arising from changes in a person's sleep pattern. Sometimes a doctor may recommend they get their sleep evaluated as part of an overall medical or psychiatric evaluation for a condition that has developed in the patient. There may be a deterioration of performance at school or work that may mandate sleep being evaluated as a potential contributing factor. And finally, they may interface with the law, including traffic accidents, tickets, or even being arrested for driving while impaired because of excessive sleepiness. At the follow-up visit, we review all labs or other outside studies, any additional family or bed partner history gathered in the meantime, review the patient's sleep diary, review any new sleep studies that have been performed and their significance, and then based on the above, generate and discuss options for therapy. This can include CPAP, which is continuous positive airway pressure, as therapy for sleep apnea, which is a device worn at night that splints open the airway with the use of airflow, the use of oral appliance, which is a mouth guard worn to stabilize the jaw as treatment for sleep apnea, weight loss or surgical alternatives for sleep apnea, medications for certain other sleep disorders, behavioral modification if a person's habits or routine need to be modified or even consultation with a therapist for what is called cognitive behavioral therapy, which is one of the primary therapies for insomnia utilizing biofeedback, relaxation techniques, visualization, and so forth. At this point, following that visit, we also will generate a communication to the referring physician, summarizing the results of the above studies and review, as well as our plan going forward. Mm -hmm.